right, America. Tonight, we're going to fill little boy's dying wish. Tonight, we're going to help him out. Tonight, we're going to pimp his funeral. Uh, Steve? You're not black. <sighs> Tonight, we're going to pimp his funeral. There, that better? Yes. Okay, the boy's name is Little Jimmy. Little Jimmy has a terminal illness known as adenocarcite. Adenocarcite. Lung cancer! Roll the clip. Hi, I'm Little Jimmy. I'm suffering from adenocarcinoma. My doctor says I've only got a few weeks to live. The government has refused to give us aid and my family can't afford to pay for the operation to save me. Can you please pay for my operation? Little Jimmy doesn't know it, but we're gonna pimp out his funeral. Let's do this. We gonna pimp your funeral! <coughs> Steve? Are you here to pay for my surgery? Even better. You're gonna heal me? Even better than that. I'm gonna pimp your funeral. <laughs> Hey, hey, cheer up, little buddy. Eric, give him a lollipop. I'm sorry. My parents just recently got me to accept my impending death and you kinda got my hopes up. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I'm sorry I got your hopes up. It does a little. Good. Now, what's your favorite color? Orange. My color sucks. I want something better like black or gray. Dude, he's dying. I don't care. That's no excuse for bad taste. I guess gray is alright. That's the spirit, a nice depressing gray. But how about black, the color of death? Uh, oh, I don't like black. It's scary. Pfft, whiner. Anyway, we're gonna give you one pimped out funeral. Yay! I guess. Alright, crew, we've got some work to do. So, we got this guy to help us out. So? Not much. We're gonna assemble the frame for the kid's casket. But I want it to decorate. Tough. Oh. Eric, what have we got so far in the funeral preparations? Well, we've got the stage area planned out. Good. Are the parents religious at all? According to the paper, yeah. Very. Ooh. This'll be a bit trickier than I thought. How so? Well, we gotta be careful not to offend the family of the little boy. And you know how we feel about the religious. Puppets. Well, so much for the dolls, candles, and incense. That's a shame. I mean... We could have sacrificed a pure soul to ensure the kid gets a good afterlife. Tell me about it. At any rate, Bill, where are we in terms of casket design? We got the inside and outside planned out. A nice black stained wood exterior with a gray velvet interior. That's the way to go. Let's do this, son. Alright, we're waiting for the priest now. As soon as he gets here, we'll get the ceremony preparations done. So, how about them bears? They're doing good this season. Yeah, but if they lose, all the front runners will hate them. I hate front runners. And that is why I'm banned from playing at the Aragon. Dude, you're pretty hardcore. Thanks. Wait, music or- This joke has been done before. Enough. But you gotta admit, hardcore music is for whiners. Agreed. So, where the heck is that priest? He should have been here like an hour ago. I've got an idea. Big guy, go find the priest. Oh. Well, we found the priest. So, where is he? Dead. What? Yeah, he's dead. What the heck are we supposed to do now? That means one of us has to conduct the funeral. I thought you said you could raise the dead. I'm unsuccessful, remember? Besides, he's a priest. Who'd want to resurrect him anyway? Good point. I guess I'll have to do this then. But you're not a priest. No, I'm not an ordained priest. Ah, voodoo, eh? Yes, sir. Alright, so what's next? We set up the stage area. Alright, we're gonna need lighting fixtures, a platform, and some pyrotechnics. Isn't that a little overdoing it? I mean, pyrotechnics? We don't pay you to question us. You don't pay me at all. I'm here for community service, remember? How the heck did you get a pimping show to count as community service? I was found guilty in L.A. Fair enough. Okay, then, let's get started. Dan, fetch me a beer. What the heck? Why do you need beer, and why do I have to get it? Because I'm thirsty and you're doing community service. Pretty sure you're not supposed to drink beer in a church, dude. And I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to conduct funerals as a non-ordained priest. Touché. Dan, get the man a beer. Ah. 
Okay, we need some candle fixtures and a platform. We've got some candle fixtures in the back room. And as far as the platform, you're sitting on it. Good. Now, where's the casket? It's right over there. And it appears to be filled with ice. Why? To keep my beer cold. That's so horrible, I'm not going to touch that with a ten-foot pole. So, we going to get to work or what? Yeah. Let's do this. Wasn't there something we were supposed to be doing? Oh, funeral. Oh, yeah. Are we even getting paid for this? Dude, of course. When have we ever done anything for free? True. At any rate, we gotta get this funeral plan. Is that kid even still alive? Let me find out. Hey, that kid still breathing? Oh. Gotcha. I don't like the sound of that. He's on the slab. I think we should get this done, man. Yeah, but first... Beer? Yeah! Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to mourn the passing of this young boy. He had a short life, but he lived it to the fullest. Booze, babes, money, the works. (gasps) Dude, he was ten. Oh. Allow me. Go for it. (laughs) Oh no, father. One of your own needs watching you over this night. He is a warrior of your people, a poet and song, and a sailor. He has weathered many storms and battles. Oh no, father, should you not heed this prayer? Should you take him for Valhalla now? Let the world tremble beneath the feet of his shade. Let not his passing go unnoticed. So be it. Now? Yeah! Odin be praised.